what's up YouTube? It's me, Sarah, and today I'm going to be talking about the three best beginner-friendly retinol or retinoids for acne-prone and sensitive skin that I have personally tried and loved. I would only recommend products that I feel are effective and won't cost an arm or a leg. I also really wanted to thank everybody for my first 100 subscribers. This is such a big deal to me. You know, it truly means the world to me to have at least 100 of y'all tuning into my channel. I just can't thank y'all enough for the support. Y'all are the best. Now the first one that I'm going to introduce is the cheapest of the bunch. It is the Ordinary's Grand Active Retinoid 2% Emulsion. This one right here. This one is super gentle and you know that's coming for me. I have pretty sensitive, reactive, and acne prone skin just due to my past battles with cystic acne and if you want to check out that journey I will link the the video down below so y'all can get an idea of what my skin was like and how I am still healing from my past struggles battling that acne so you can check it out I don't want to take up too much time talking about my cystic acne before so it makes your skin feel really soft and smooth it's super cheap it's like I think less than ten dollars and you can purchase it at Ulta the only downside about this particular retinoid is that you know it really actually didn't help with the appearance of my fine lines or my wrinkles I have wrinkles or like these lines on my neck which I have been trying for the longest time to get rid of and I haven't found a product that actually really has been helping the appearance of those lines and I had a wrinkle or a line on my forehead and that's been there for quite some time now. This retinoid did not do anything for that. It only made my skin feel really soft but that was really it. But I think that it's still a great retinoid to introduce if you haven't started using any retinoids or retinol in your skincare. You do want to start off pretty gentle to minimize irritation and any kind of sensitivity issues and things like that. I mean, that could just be me though. You know, other reviews that I've read and videos that I've watched about this retinoid, people really like it. And some people even state that it helped with their fine lines. This retinoid really worked for them. Maybe it's just me maybe it doesn't work well for my particular skin type but I do still like this retinoid it's just not strong enough for me you know something to keep in mind when it comes to retinol or retinoids in your skincare is not every product depending on the strength or the concentration of it will be effective for your particular skin type or your skin concerns I found that out after using this retinoid oh my god I wasn't even filming I literally went on a rant for like two minutes and I realized that I wasn't even filming it. I'm just gonna keep this camera on because I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get dry mouth because I forgot to press the freaking record button. <laughs> the second product that I am going to introduce is the Versed Press Restart Gentle Retinol Serum. After upgrading from the Ordinary's Retinoid, I wanted to try something different. And I do love Versed as a brand. It is an awesome brand. Their products are affordable. And I have had literally no bad reaction to any of their skincare products. So the reason why I love this retinol is this is the first one to ever improve the lines on my forehead as well as my neck. This is the only one that actually had like this blurring effect like my lines were slowly starting to improve and I didn't have as much of an issue when it came to my texture kind of coming out or like being really um, noticeable. Considering the effectiveness of this retinol, for it only being around like $20, that's a really great price. Another reason I really love this retinol is the fact that it's formulated with Bacuchiol. I don't know if I'm saying that right. With Bacuchiol it's a great alternative to retinol since it's more gentle and it won't have as much risk of irritation or sensitizing your skin it will still help with your fine lines or your wrinkles and it essentially like mimics the benefits of retinol but without the risk of irritation so it's not as irritating which is why I think it's a great beginner friendly retinol to introduce or incorporate into your skincare routine if you are very new to using any type of retinol so the last retinol that I want to introduce is is my favorite of the bunch. It is the CeraVe Resurfacing Retinol Serum. I have heard so much about the serum on TikTok, even other dermatologists that I've watched on YouTube 
everyone seems to be talking about this retinol and I was curious about it for a really long time. So you can purchase this at I think Ulta, you can also purchase it at HEB. Um, so it's a pretty accessible product as well which I love. It costs only around I think $17. This is the best best retinol I have tried yet. I have really sensitive and reactive skin so I'm always pretty nervous when it comes to trying retinol but whenever I apply this product to my face at night like it's soothing. I have no burning or tingling feeling. It's so gentle but it worked the best out of this bunch here. Like it worked the best at getting rid of that line and helping the lines on my neck. This would be my top pick of the bunch but it really depends on your skin because everyone's skin type is different and we all react differently to certain ingredients or different products how the products are formulated so these three may work well for my skin you may hate these three you may have better luck with one of these products compared to the other it really depends but in my personal opinion out of the ones that I have tried these are just the ones that I really really like and that I feel are best suited for acne prone and sensitive skin so let me know down below please comment check the description for more information I have links to my different platforms so please connect with me in different platforms I also have related videos that you may find helpful just let me know what other skincare products that you like to use what your luck was and just any thoughts that you have thank you so much to all of you for tuning into my channel thank you so much for the first 100 subscribers that I have and stay tuned I post every single Monday mm -hmm.